from Terry here at D-Lab. The purpose of this video is to show you the value of an oscilloscope when you're tracing strange problems with your amplifier. Let me show you what I got going on here and I bet you've had this problem before and you really didn't know what it was but the scope will show you the truth. So the amp under test is a boutique type amp built on a Zenith console chassis. This thing runs a pair of 6v6s and the circuit is very close to that of an older Fender Princeton. So here's a symptom. The amp works fine unless you turn your treble all the way up and your volume all the way up. So I'm going to advance the volume and you hear a hiss. That's normal. It's actually pretty clean. Okay. Now I'm going to advance the volume some more. Hear that? The volume dies. Now, if you have this problem with your amp, you might think, well, maybe I've got a bad volume pod, right? But watch this. If I turn my treble back, and I bring my volume all the way up, it doesn't do it. Now, I'll advance the treble. There it goes. So you may think, what the heck's going on with that amp? Well, let me show you using the oscilloscope. All right, I'm still monitoring with my speaker and I've got a scope attached across the speaker output jack. Okay, At this point there is no signal applied to the input of this amp. All right, Now I'm going to turn off the volume and watch the scope. You see that? What's happening is we've got parasitic oscillation going on between the output tubes. That's because when this amp was built I did not put grid stopper resistors on the 6V6s. And if you look at the earlier schematics of Fender Princeton's, they didn't use them either. But later on, they did. So I'm guessing what we have going on here is parasitics between the two 6v6 tubes. Okay, so I'm going to turn the volume back, turn the treble back, volume's all the way up. We're clean, right? I'm going to bring up the treble. Bam! There it is. Now maybe I can get that frequency dialed in a little bit better. You see it, right? So now let's apply a signal and we're going to hook up a dummy load and see what it does to a signal at the same time. So for the test, I now have a dummy load attached. We're still monitoring across the speaker jack and I have the input from audio generator at approximately one kilohertz. Now I'm going to bring up the volume. You see in the scope, there's a nice pretty sine wave. Looks good, right? Now I'm going to keep the treble back, okay, so there's the treble, I'm going to keep him back and I'm going to go full volume, no issues. Now I'm going to creep up with the treble, look at there, watch the sine wave, it collapses and goes into the oscillation and that kills the volume that you have coming off your speaker. So if you have the symptom with your amp, you may suspect, like I said, a bad pot or perhaps something wrong in the drive circuit, but in reality, it's probably because you don't have those grid block resistors, so you've got parasitic oscillations. So now at this point, let's go ahead and add the resistors and see if the problem goes away. So here's the six V6s, okay? Pin six normally is not used. Pin five is your input on each tube. So we're gonna put the grid stop resistors between six and five, and I'm gonna move this input wire over to six. So it has to travel through the grid resistors and hit pin 5. And I'm going to use 1.5K resistors just like Fender did. Grid block resistors are installed. You can see this one here going from pin 6 through the resistor now to pin 5 for the signal and the same with the 6V6. So let's hook her back up see if the problem goes away. So the dummy load's still hooked up. Got our little grid block resistors in. Here's my volume all the way. Trouble all the way. Scope is clear. Nothing. You wouldn't even think this amp was on. It's so clean. Now, let me take our one kilohertz generator. So you know I'm not fooling you. There's our signal. Okay. You can hear it coming off those dummy load resistors. 
Okay, so I'm going to turn back my treble. And I'm going to crank the treble. That oscillation's gone. The parasitics are gone. Now, I'm not going to guarantee you that this will fix it every time, but this is a good place to start. So we're back to the speaker now. I'm going to crank her all the way up. Hear the hiss? Treble? It's working great again. So you may think, what a simple fix for D-Lab. Well, it's only simple because I have that oscilloscope. If you had this issue with your amp and you continued to play it, that parasitic oscillation will overheat your output tubes and eventually kill them. And then you'll go out and buy more tubes and it'll do it again. So if you have that symptom where you crank up your treble and your volume and you hear it cut out, that's not a bad pot normally. That's parasitic oscillations. Now I highly suggest that you investigate that before you burn your amp up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now you can track down that distortion. Get rid of those grids that are blocking you. Another fine tech tip from D-Lab Electronics.